Welcome to the Gorilla 6 video series. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to authorize and deauthorize Gorilla and how to manage your authorization count. Managing your authorizations is very important. With your purchase of Gorilla Scheduling, you are allowed to install and authorize Gorilla onto computers. They can be Macs or Windows or one of each. You can also always purchase more authorizations. To check your authorization count, from the Extras pull-down menu, select Register, then Authorize Module. Here, you can check your scheduling and budgeting authorization count by selecting the Check Auth Count button. According to this, we are allowed five authorizations and have used four. To deauthorize this machine, select the Deauthorize button. You have the choice to deauthorize over the internet or manually. If you are connected to the internet, select Internet. If you are not connected to the internet for some reason, you can call or email us and we will manually authorize or deauthorize your computer over the phone or by email with a response code. I'm going to select Internet, then Deauth. The deauthorization was successful. You have only five days to use Gorilla on this machine before it must be authorized again. You can now quit Gorilla and authorize it on another machine. Let's now authorize this machine. Select Register Authorize Module from the Extras pull-down menu again. Notice the message in red which states that this copy of Gorilla Scheduling is not authorized. Also, notice that our install count changed. The installs remaining went up. Select the Authorize button. Now, when asked to authorize, you will be prompted for a computer name. Enter an identifier for your computer. This is used so that if you need to deauthorize a computer and don't have access to that computer, we can do it for you. And the name of the computer will help us tell you which computers are authorized. Select the Internet button. And now your copy of Gorilla is authorized. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.